Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to the official Creative Office Tour 2020. Let's do it. So let me break down this space for you guys real quick before we dive into each little specific section. What did I want this space to accomplish for myself? So as you guys may or may not know, my name is Johnny. I do video and photo work professionally for a living. I've been doing this stuff for a really long time and I've been doing more and more personal work, especially with this whole YouTube channel. So I needed a space that was just my own creative area that I could come into, make it exactly how I wanted to, do whatever I want in here, be able to work on videos, shoot videos, shoot photography, even sit back, relax, and game a little bit. So this is kind of just an all-in-one space for me that I could just make it however I wanted. Um, and so we're gonna break it down into some smaller sections here. I'm gonna kind of take you guys through my thought process of how I put this place together. So first up, we're gonna head over to kind of the main backdrop over here, and that is going to be the shelves. So let's head over there. Okay guys, so first thing on the list here, we have these shelves that I picked up from Ikea. In the background here, as you can tell, they're filled with all sorts of different things. When I got this space and I started designing this area, I knew that this would probably be kind of like my main backdrop, so this one was pretty important to me. But since we live in a two bedroom apartment, these shelves serve a few different purposes. So the most obvious purpose of these shelves is obviously I just needed some storage, whether it be old camera gear, shoes, sneakers, artwork, all that kind of stuff, which kind of brings me to my second point. I wanted it to just be filled with some cool things. I want it to be a good looking background. Everything on these shelves holds some sort of special meaning to me, you know, whether it be just cool artwork or this awesome Jim Halpert poster up here that's like this slam magazine cover poster. Super cool, super unique. But yeah, we got sneakers on here. We have my old MacBook on the shelves. That thing got me through those all nighters in college. It went across the entire country in a tour bus. That thing went through hell with me. It actually still turns on, but for me now, it's just kind of a memory to look back on. And I love those things. So you can kind of look back on it and kind of see how far you've come. We have this awesome neon light here that my girlfriend got me for my birthday. That's definitely one of the highlights of this whole office space. Super cool. I love that thing. Up here, we kind of have like a little ode to Peter McKinnon. He is a huge inspiration to myself and I'm sure a lot others, but without him, I definitely probably wouldn't have this channel. But yeah, he's just a huge inspiration for me, so gotta have some Peter McKinnon stuff up there. Oh, and fly the flag. But yeah, and then to kind of wrap up this area, the bottom shelves in here is just gonna be a little bit more storage, so I try to keep some of my camera equipment up off the floor. I got my router and stuff like that kind of hidden down behind there. So um, moving on to the third purpose of these shelves, especially when you're doing these YouTube videos, maybe you're taking some cool photos. Sometimes you need some items to either be the subject of what you're talking about, or maybe just be some background items in your photos, whatever it may be. And this is kind of my go-to place for that. So if I'm taking a cool photo, I need some items that kind of relate to whatever I'm shooting. Usually I will head over to these shelves and be able to kind of pick something off here. And usually something kind of goes along with what I'm shooting. But yeah, that's gonna kind of wrap up this area, guys. I'm really happy with it. I think it's a cool background and it's just filled with a lot of things that I care about. So it always kind of helps me get in that mindset when I come in here, turn on these lights, kind of just helps set the tone. So that's going to wrap up this area. So we're going to now head over to the next little section of this office. Let's go. All right guys, so moving on to the next section of the office, we have the mini fridge corner. Now I know what you're thinking. Johnny, that kind of sounds ridiculous. Why do you have a mini fridge in a two bedroom apartment? First of all, this was a gift given to me. Second of all, it's freaking awesome. I love this thing. But on a more serious note here, if you guys are other creatives or maybe gamers, streamers, whatever it is, I know you can relate with me. When you sit down and you kind of get in that zone, you hate to like stand up and kind of get out of that little zone or that flow. So I'm telling you just the fact that you can roll over two feet, grab something out of here, and then you can just get back to whatever you're doing. It's a game changer, that's for sure. 
So I usually keep this fridge absolutely stocked with drinks. It's usually filled with all sorts of different caffeinated beverages. I also have some sparkling water and some Gatorades up top because you know, you gotta stay hydrated. And you can't always be drinking caffeine at like two in the morning. So um, as you guys can see, this thing is filled with mostly 3D. Uh, 3D Energy is my favorite energy drink. Actually recently I reached out to them and they kind of sent over a care package which was really, really cool and very thankful for that. So shout out to those guys but they got me sitting right. I have so many 3D energy drinks now. If I am in here working on an edit or maybe even just gaming with some friends, uh, I'm always usually reaching for one of those. But the rest of this area is really gonna be a lot of storage. I definitely just have some more supplements, camera gear, I got some Polaroids down there. I have an Ikea cart over here that's on some wheels I can just move around the office. Just holds kind of odds and ends of different camera gears and everything like that. And then up top there, we have a dry erase calendar, which is super helpful. I really like being able to just physically write out what I have going on. And I'm a huge believer in the fact that you win tomorrow today. So it's nice just to be able to glance up, see what I have going on tomorrow or even next week. You know, what days do I have a shoot for work? What days am I traveling? Maybe I have a certain day set aside to work on an edit or even just, you know, I have puppy class going on tomorrow night so I can see what I have on my calendar. You know what I mean? So. Just super helpful to be able to have a place I can glance up and see what's going on. All right guys, so that's gonna kind of wrap up this little section of the office. And I'm telling you guys, the mini fridge is an absolute game changer. And you know what? I'm working on a YouTube video right now. I'm doing a lot of talking. Might as well grab a drink before we head over to the next section. All right, let, let's grab some. Gonna get ourselves one of these new little silver 3Ds right here. All right, little taste test of the new silver flavor. So good. All right guys. Now I'm feeling better. Let's head over to the next section of the office, which you guys have probably been waiting for. Let's do it, let's do it. All right guys, so the big portion of this office, let me set this down over here. So I have two different computer setups here. I have one that is a MacBook setup. That is where I do all things creative. And then over here, I have my custom PC that I built. That setup is meant for gaming and streaming. Let's go ahead and start with the gaming PC setup. All right guys, so let's talk about the gaming setup here. Okay, so let's start out with the desk itself. So both of these desks, are gonna be supported by kind of the Ikea hack. We have one Alex drawer on one side, and then we have like an Ikea sawhorse on the other. I actually recently did a video kind of going to Ikea and talking about that, so I'll link that above. As far as the tabletop goes, this is just a piece of wood that I had from years ago that I sanded down and coated. I personally love having a huge amount of real estate as a workspace. My chair is actually from Ikea. It's not the best chair, but honestly, it's pretty comfortable for me, so it works for now. Moving on to kind of the brain of this whole area itself is the custom PC that I built last year. Um, it's an absolute beast. It has a 2080 graphics card, an i9 processor, 64 gigs of RAM, I think a terabyte of SSD. And again, guys, I'm gonna link everything below that uh, I'm talking about that I can possibly link. If you guys are interested in checking that out. This thing is an absolute beast. I can run any game at a really good frame rate. I can even stream at the same time if I want to. It's really just kind of an all-in-one workhorse. Super happy about the computer. Along with the gaming PC, I do have an Xbox One X over here along with an Elite controller. So the main monitor here is a 27-inch Asus. Uh, I'll put the actual number on the screen right here. But it's a great gaming monitor, especially if you're on a budget. It's not the highest resolution monitor, but honestly, for what I need, it's really good. And I was more concerned about the refresh rate and the fact that it's only a one millisecond delay. So a super good, affordable gaming monitor, really happy with that. And then the second monitor over here, I actually have as a vertical. If you guys have never had that kind of a setup before, I definitely recommend trying it out. You can have a couple different windows up at the same time. Super useful, especially if you have something going on in the main one, you can throw a few things up on the side. That is actually just an older LG monitor. It's not very good anymore, but uh, for the fact that it's just kind of like a reference monitor for myself, it works great because I can just throw it on the side and it doesn't take up too much space. So moving on to the peripherals on the desk here. First of all, this pad is from Glorious PC Gaming Race. I love having one of these huge mouse pads. It's nice not kind of clunking around whenever you're gaming and just kind of be nice and smooth. I have a Glorious PC Gaming Race keyboard super nice i believe i have the purple switches in that 
And then for a mouse, I have the Razer Naga. I love that thing. I've been using it for a long time. It still works great, so no complaints there. I have a Stream Deck, and then also um, I have this Logitech speakers that work great. So yeah, I don't get to use this space as much as I used to. Honestly, last year I was streaming and gaming a lot. I was kind of grinding that out, but just recently I've kind of had some priority changes, and really I'm trying to focus a lot of my energy more on my YouTube channel and my personal work. So um, as you guys can see, hopefully that these YouTube YouTube channel videos have really kind of upped in quality and I've just been spending a lot of time on that. So if I ever get the chance to sit down and hang out with some friends and game a little bit, it's more than ready to and it can handle anything that I want to throw at it. So super happy with this space and who knows, maybe we'll get back into streaming at some point too. So we'll see. So enough about this space. Let's move over to where I spend probably about like 80 or 90% of my time in this office and that is going to be my MacBook setup. Let's talk about it. So the MacBook setup, this is definitely my favorite part of this entire office. So yeah, this is home base. This is where I kind of spend most of my time. So again, starting with the desk itself, like I said, it is supported by an Ikea Alex drawer and a sawhorse. Love that combination. I can store a lot of stuff in those drawers, kind of just get the hard drives, all those different cables and things like that out of sight so it doesn't kind of junk up the whole space. So moving up to the tabletop itself, I kind of got this butcher block style tabletop. I recently picked this up from Ikea and I absolutely love it. I think it looks great and just a perfect little touch to the office. So as you guys will see the tabletop itself, I try to keep pretty clean, pretty minimal. Okay, so moving on to the main portion of this setup, that's gonna be my 2018 MacBook Pro. That thing is absolutely decked out and it can handle pretty much anything that I throw at it. If I'm working in Premiere Pro or After Effects, Lightroom, Photoshop, really anything, that's what I'm gonna be working in. So I know what you guys are thinking right now. I have this insane custom built PC over here. Why wouldn't I use that to edit my videos with? There's a few different reasons, but first of all, I like to just keep play and work separate. So this is kind of where I do my more serious creative things. And I just personally kind of like it that way. Also, secondly, for as much as I'm on the road, I need something that's mobile. So it's nice just having a really good laptop that I'm able to just take with me. And then when I come here, I can just kind of plug it in and get to work right away. And then also just in the last 10 years that I've been kind of in this field, college, every employer, everything, all creative work that I've worked with has always been on Mac. So I'm just super familiar with it. I actually worked at an Apple store for a couple years. So I'm a little biased. It's just what I prefer. I think my PC is totally capable. So please don't try to destroy me too much in my comments right now. I know they're both capable. It's just what I prefer. So moving on to the monitor, it's actually the same Asus that I have over on the other setup. So it's a pretty good monitor. I like having the extra real estate in the 27 inch, but it's not the highest resolution. It's not the most color accurate. So eventually I do wanna replace that. A lot of times I'll actually be looking at my MacBook screen if I'm trying to color correct something to get it very accurate. Also, I should say here, all my monitors are on monitor arms that I've gotten from Amazon. So I'll be sure to link those below. It's just a nice way to kind of clear off your desk just get things off the desktop itself, just get a nice clean space. So I highly recommend that. And I mean, they come in at super cheap. I think like that one was maybe like 10 or $15. It really just helps clean up your space. So as far as audio goes, I have these KRKs on either side of my monitor. They are super good sounding. I absolutely love them and they look pretty sweet in photos and video. I actually got these seven years ago in college, which I feel like is a good thing to note is this entire studio, this whole office. There's a lot of equipment in here, but I did not buy everything at once. A lot of these things I've kind of just gotten over the years and they've all just kind of compiled into what I have here today. But you know, just try to build things up over time. You don't have to build everything in a weekend. There's a lot of equipment, a lot of expensive things just go a little bit at a time and then eventually it all just kind of adds up. But those are my speakers, super accurate, really love them. And if it is late at night, maybe I can't be playing audio out loud. I have my Beats Studio 2s over here, which I will throw on just if I want to have some nice headphones that I can listen to whatever my edit is. Um, I also will have on the desk here, you'll see I have some AirPods. Those things go with me everywhere. I use them all the damn time. If I'm doing a call, something like that, that's what I'll use as well, just so I have my hands free so I can still be working at the same time. So moving on to what's on my tabletop here, my MacBook is supported by this little stand that I got on Amazon. Again, just kind of clears off some space so I can just work and not have 
bunch of stuff junking up my desk. As far as mouse and keyboard go, I have the Apple Magic Mouse and Magic Keyboard. I absolutely love those. I've been kind of working off those two things for like eight years, so I know them just like the back of my hand. Super nice for my workflow, I'm super familiar, and that's just kind of what I prefer when it comes to working on my stuff. I have a nice little wireless phone charger that I can just set my phone down and it'll just charge while I'm sitting here editing. So you know we gotta have a salt lamp in here to get the vibes good. And then we gotta have a fake Ikea plant because what's an office without that? Everyone needs one of those in here. And then also over here I have an iPad Pro. Sometimes I'll edit some photos off of it, but really this is gonna be for web browsing. Whenever I'm traveling, this is gonna be what I watch videos on, check out analytics, all that kind of stuff. Sometimes I will set up it as like my second monitor for my MacBook setup, because you can do that now. You can have your iPad be your second monitor, which is actually pretty cool and handy. And one thing I kept in mind when I was kind of figuring out the layout of this setup is I knew I was gonna be spending a lot of time with this desk, so I wanted it to be near the window so I get some natural light in here. It looks really good for shooting photos on this tabletop, because it's that nice butcher block. So I wanted to make sure it was near the window, and I'm really happy with kind of the layout that I've made of this space. So I definitely kept that in mind. I wanted this near the window when I was figuring out this space. And that's gonna kind of wrap up this section of the office, guys. Like I said, this is where I spend most of my time. I'm super happy with it. It's always changing and getting tweaked a little bit here and there, but for the most part, I absolutely love this setup. It's very minimalist, it's very clean, and I can just sit down, get to work, and this is just kind of my happy space in here. So that is where I spend most of my time in this office, and I absolutely love it. The last thing I wanna to touch on in this office tour is I made it a big point to create the right vibe in this environment. And I did that by just covering the walls in different artwork that means something to me, then also filling this whole space with a bunch of different RGB lights. So every light that you see in here is either a LifeX light or Philips Hue. So I have them kind of spread throughout and I really like those because you can change the color of them on your phone. You can make them all turn on and off using and then also a little tip is if you are renting a place like we are, you know, you can't necessarily go around and paint all the walls whatever color you want. So using these type of lights are really nice because you can kind of get a splash of color on the walls or just a different color behind you other than just like a blank white wall. So I love them because I can create one vibe for one video. Maybe I film something the next day and I want it to be a totally different vibe. I can just change the color, create some change and make things look a little bit different. And I'm just not a fan of plain boring white walls. So I really wanted to have some splashes of colors and then fill them with a bunch of different artwork. So you guys will see, I have a lot of different sneaker art around. Uh, I have a nice Ohio against the world flag, which is really cool up there. And then the last piece of this office that I actually put in here is this big canvas. It's actually a quote from Kobe. So when he passed, uh, he meant a lot to me growing up and I think it was really cool how he was so known for his mindset just as much as he was his gameplay and obviously I'm a basketball guy so I kind of wanted to do something to remember him so I threw this together in Photoshop, got it printed out on a canvas and I'm actually really happy with how it came together. So that's kind of, in my head, kind of the focal point of the office. It's the first thing when you walk in, this big black canvas on the wall, and I have the LifeX beam around it, which kind of is a nice accent, and I just really love it. Those times when you get up early and you work hard, those times when you stay up late and you work hard, those times when you don't feel like working, you're too tired, you don't want to push yourself, but you do it anyway, that is actually the dream. And it's always a cool reminder when I've been sitting here editing, just to kind of look up and see that. Cause really the important thing of this entire space for me was just have an environment that when I walk in, really feel inspired, really feel ready to like get to work. And you gotta be comfortable in here if you're gonna spend a lot of time. So yeah, really happy with how that turned out. All the artwork, everything in here has some sort of meaning to me. And I think that plays a big role when you're putting together a space for yourself. So I should also point out this big light that I use and I've been moving around this whole video it is the app Aperture 120D Mark II, along with a Light Dome Mark II. I absolutely love this thing. I bought it pretty recently, and I really think it's taken my content to the next level. It makes everything look a little bit better. It gives a nice, beautiful, soft light. You can even bounce it off the ceiling, which I'm doing right now, just to get a little extra light in this room. It is huge, and it takes up a lot of space, but I kind of just put it in the corner. It just kind of fits in with the theme of this whole studio, because I mean, listen, I make a lot of YouTube content, so it, it fits right in, it's fine. One last little alternative setup that I have that you guys may have seen in some of my previous videos, it's similar to this angle right here, 
but I actually have a desktop that I have in the closet that I can take out, set it out here. That way, if I'm talking about a certain product or maybe I'm doing a review and wanna physically show it with the camera behind the table, I can just take it out, set it up here, and then just put it back away. So sometimes that's super helpful. And one thing I think a lot of people can relate to with me is, you know, I work a full-time job. I have everything else that a normal person has going on in their normal life. So when I actually get the opportunity to come in here and work on some personal projects, it's nice to just have a space so you can kind of shut the door, get into the right mindset, and just get some actual work done. So yeah, guys, I think I'm gonna wrap it up right here. This is my official studio tour for 2020, unless I change everything. But uh, I'm really happy with it. It's very me. Hopefully you guys kind of enjoyed going around and seeing everything that I talked about, hearing why I set things up the way that I did, seeing kind of my thinking behind everything. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want to know anything more or anything specific about this space. And like I said, I will link everything that I possibly can down below. Or maybe you have a question about a certain item on the shelf or something that you might wanna pick up, just let me know. And I'll be sure to do my best to get back to you guys. So hopefully you guys found this video interesting interesting. If you did, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. We got some awesome content on the way. And just thank you guys for all the continued support. It really means a lot. And yeah, see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.